How's it going today guys? This is Dan with the Rapway Homestead and today uh, we're going to be discussing how to test or check your trailer lights without having it hooked to a vehicle. Uh, the reason you'd want to do this is if your trailer lights aren't working, it's a good idea to separate the vehicle from the trailer to know if it's a trailer problem or a vehicle problem. Um, what we're going to show you today is, will apply to any type of trailer, whether it's a boat trailer, utility trailer, car hauling trailer. Uh, around the homestead there always seems to be issues with trailer lighting, so hopefully this video will help you guys know how to test them and know what color wires do what and kind of help you through that process. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to know is what color wires on the end of this plug do what. So this is just your standard four pin flat trailer light plug in. Um, and so what the wire colors do is the first one is a white and that runs to this side right here, the kind of the shielded one. That's your ground. So that one will you will hook to the black wire when we get to test. These two here are browns. You may see one or two going into your connector depending on the type, but either way the next pin over is always the brown. What the brown controls is your your running lights. That's the only thing brown does that controls your running lights. So any of the side marker lights and then your rear tail lights when they're dim. And then if you have a middle light, like this boat trailer does underneath the dead center of the boat in the back, it also lights up that. You have your yellow and your green. Now your yellow and your green are for your turn signal and your blinker. So when there's power going to them, it illuminates the rear tail lights. Usually the ones are on each side of the trailer and it lights those up. Now a good way to know what side does what is if you think of green grass. In other words, your green wire controls the light, the ditch side light. Okay, which would be the, um, it would be the right side tail light as if you were, you know, sitting in the trailer, I guess you would say. But quick, easy way to remember it, green grass, yellow, yellow line on the side of the road. So, what we're going to use to test these is I have these jumper leads here. Um, they're just uh, extendable leads. You can use a small piece of wire, anything else you might have, uh, but you're going to want to be careful. We're just using a regular 12 volt car battery here. I'm going to connect it to, um, but you need to be careful that when it's hooked to the battery, if you touch the wires together at all, it's going to, it's going to arc and spark and can cause damage to the wiring and the battery and, it's not a good idea. We're not using the green wire. Don't let that confuse you. The green one's just in this spool. It's just extra. So we don't even need that one. But so first thing we're going to do is we're going to check our running lights. So you'll take your black wire, your black jumper wire, or your ground, and it'll go to this shielded side like that. Now I try to push this cover, this little rubber boot here over it as far as I can, just to keep it from arcing. Um, depending on what style you have, that might be a little easier, a little harder to do, but again, just being cautious not to let it arc. Um, so the next thing that I like to do is I hook up my leads to the battery. So the black will go to the negative side of the battery and the red wire will go to the positive side of our battery that I've got sitting just outside the camera, but it's just a regular car battery, nothing special about it. You can use a lawnmower battery, any 12 volt battery will work. Um, so from there, I like to start by checking the running lights. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to connect the red to your to this first uh, post over. In other words, the one that the brown wires go up into. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so just like that, again, shielding uh, the wire to keep it from sparking. If, if you're able to do that, that's a good idea. Now you can... What's nice about having them little alligator clips is you can get a chunk of wire, make yourself anything with some alligator clips. It doesn't have to be a fancy spool. Um, but now what we'll do is we'll go around and we will check all of our running lights to make sure they're all lit up properly like they should be. Okay, so again, that's hooked on to the wiring like that. Just going to a simple 12 volt battery. When you can see that light is working properly, Kind of hard, a little bit hard to see in the camera, but that light is illuminated. Going around here. That light is lit up as it should be. Our three underneath the trailer is working. This light is lit up. 
coming around the other side of the trailer here. Got that light lit up. One more to check. Got that light lit up. So from there, we know that all of those lights are working as they should. All right, so now that we checked our running lights and we know all that's working properly, what that tells us for sure is our ground is good throughout the entire trailer. Um, in other words, it's grounding good behind each light. The ground up at the tongue is working properly and it's grounded at the back of each light properly. Now, some trailers have ground wires that run all the way up to your trailer light plug and some just simply have, um, they use the trailer as a ground. So there's some differences there. Honestly, it all works the same. It's just if you have a full set of wires that run back or they use the trailer. Most trailer wiring setups use the trailer as the ground. In other words, it connects up here. But this isn't gonna be about how to repair your trailer lights. This is gonna be how to test them to know if it's a truck problem or a trailer problem. So from there, we will go ahead and check our our turn signals and our brake lights. Again, those use the same system, the same wiring. If you have, these are LEDs, if you run on a bulb, it's the same bulb in there that runs the brake lights and the turn signals. So the first one we're gonna go ahead and check is the green wire. Again, sitting on the trailer, so I just disconnected it from here. Disconnected it from our four pin flat, and we're gonna go ahead and go well, let's just go to the yellow one because that's next in line. So we'll go to our yellow pin. Now that's gonna light up the road side of the trailer or the light that would be along the yellow lines as you're driving down the road. Now it's important to know the difference there because if you just buy a trailer, or you're trying to help somebody out with their trailer, it's possible that the wires could have got crossed somewhere. And then when you go to use your blinker, your turn signal, it's gonna, the, the turn signal is gonna operate on the wrong side of the trailer. In other words, people are gonna think you're turning left and you're turning right and vice versa. So we'll go ahead and hook it to the yellow wire. And again, the road side of the trailer should be illuminated. So let's check that out. Again, just plugging it onto here carefully, not letting it arc. And we'll take a look and see if our, tra if our light is lit up properly. Okay, and here you can see that yes, our, our roadside LED light is lit up and none of the other lights should be lit up at this point. Now, if there's other lights lit up, you have an issue with the wiring is, is shorting out with the other wiring, could be caused by mouse damage. But again, this video isn't gonna be about diagnosing that, it's gonna be about testing it. So we know that that is working properly. If your brake light was lit up, it would be working. And if your blinker was actually blinking, that light would be working properly as far as the trailer goes. So now we'll go and we will hook it up to the green side, which is the, the ditch side or green grass side of the trailer. Okay, so we just got done testing our yellow wire. Now we're gonna go ahead and move it to the green, which is the last post over. Again, this is the same on all four flat trailer light plugs. So we'll go ahead and move that over, making sure it doesn't arc on anything. And now we'll go to the back of the trailer and make sure that our ditch side light is lit up properly. As you can see, the ditch side is lit up as it's supposed to be, and the um, road side is not illuminated. So in this case, this trailer's lights are working properly. If this was your trailer and you were having trailer light issue or yeah, trailer light issues, um you would know that your problem is now in the vehicle. It is not a trailer problem. You can continue to diagnose the truck side or your tow vehicle side, not the trailer side. All right, so there again, we're done. We went through, we checked all our lighting. We'll disconnect it from here and from our battery, careful not to arc wires on anything once again. And your, uh, your trailer, if you go through those tests is, is good to go. Now, if you have an issue where one of your lights doesn't light up. Um, kind of going through a quick run through on that. I can do a more in depth video on actually diagnosing trailer lighting. But if you're, um, all your lights come on when you hook it to your running lights or your brown, this first pin over, they all light up. Your ground is good throughout the entire trailer. It, it's good. If you go to check and 
all that works and one of your roadside or your curbside do not light up it could be the, the green wire going back it's not sending power back to the light it could be that that filament part of that bulb is bad um, from there it, I've seen these connectors actually break internally here so there's gonna be some more diagnosing there and I will do an in-depth video on diagnosing trailer lights and kind of the trailer series I guess of this um, deal here will eventually go through and do wheel bearings and everything but for right now that is how you diagnose your four pin flat trailer wiring now if you have a five pin flat same looking thing but five pins going across your last pin is for uh, reverse so if you have reverse lights on your trailer that's what that pin is for if you have electronic trailer brakes um, or I should say surge brakes I'm sorry surge brakes where there is a, a cutout solenoid where when you back up, it doesn't let fluid go back so you can back the trailer. Um, that also will be controlled by that fifth pin. Um, if you have a round plug, like a lot of the new style vehicles have, I will do a separate video on that. That's kind of its own creature. The wiring in the trailer is the same, but just the pin locations are a lot different and can be a little more confusing on that. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. I'd love to answer any questions you have. This stuff is fairly simple once you kind of know what you're working with, but can be kind of confusing at first trying to figure out what's what. So again, any questions, feel free to uh, drop a comment down below. I do my best to get to comments as soon as I can. Um, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'd love to have you back. We do a lot of this type of content as as well as a lot of uh, modern homesteading type stuff. So until next time, guys, have a good one.